Hello everybody, it's Brandon again. What I wanted to do today is an updated guide on how to install Steam on Chrome OS Flex. Um, I have another video on the channel that has quite a few views on how to do this, except um, it's a little outdated now. There's an easier way to do it. We're going to go through it from start to finish. And so what we have right now is an install of Chrome OS Flex. This is on a 2015 MacBook Air. And I haven't even, the first thing you got to do is get Linux set up on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the settings. And what we do is we go down to advanced. And we go to developers. And there's a section here, Linux development environment. You have to turn that on. And it's going to ask you to pick a username. That's fine. And right here, this is really important. It's going to say how much space do you want to, um, put towards this. 10 gigs is probably not enough if you're trying to install games. Depending on your hard drive size, I like to crank it up to like 128. Now before we go on, if you don't have this Linux option right here, what you're probably going to have to do is enable CPU virtualization in the BIOS of your laptop. Uh, so when you first boot on your laptop, you'll see some words on the screen, something like press delete or press F2 to enter settings. So you just got to watch for that, press a button real quick. Then you got to go through your settings and find something that says CPU virtualization and make sure that's turned on. But once you have that, you click on install. And then it goes through and it sets up the Linux container on your uh, Chrome OS Flex device. This should all work on regular Chrome OS too, by the way. This uh, usually takes a couple minutes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's set up. All right, we're back here. As soon as it sets up your Linux environment, you get the terminal window here. Now you can always get back to this terminal application by clicking on this icon down at the bottom. Or if you look in there, it's probably gonna be called a uh, terminal. So that's how you always get back to this. When you first set it up, the first thing you're probably gonna to wanna to do is do a command called sudo apt apt update. So this will go through and see if there's any updates to the uh, Linux environment that it installed on your system. And there's 15 that can be upgraded. What we're going to do is type sudo apt upgrade just to make sure everything's up to date. Say yes. And so it's going to go through that. The first thing we're going to do to make Steam easy to set up on this thing is set up something called Flatpak support, which is not there uh, by default, but it's really easy to set up. And if you want to know how to set this up, or if you want to know how to install anything for Linux, um, I'm just going to show you how you can Google search and easily find anything. What I want to search for is Flatpak. What we're going to search for is Flat Hub setup, I think. Quick setup, Flatpak. And it's going to ask which distro we have. You're not going to see Chrome OS Flex on there. What you're going to see is this icon. This is the Debian Linux icon. Um, the Linux container in Chrome OS Flex and regular Chrome OS uses Debian Linux. So when you're trying to install Linux software, you always want to do the Debian instructions. So we're going to click on that. And as you can see, you simply type apt install flatpak. <clears throat> but in front of all these commands on this website, you're going to have to type sudo. So what we do is we type sudo apt install flatpak. We say yes. It's going to go through and get flatpak set up for us. And while that's installing, we're going to look at the next steps. We don't need the software plugin for GNOME software because we don't use GNOME software on this, so we can skip that. <clears throat> but the next thing we are going to want to do is set up this Flatpak repository. And you can go ahead and type all this in, or you can just copy and paste it. What I'm going to do, if I can highlight, uh, maybe I should just type it. And I cop highlight that, right click, say copy. And we're almost done here, so first I'm going to type sudo and put a space. Then I'm just going to right click on the window, which will automatically paste what I put in. Hit enter. And that should just go through. And then we're done. Now it says you should restart your system. And we're going to go ahead and do that just to be nice. You can type exit if you want to leave the terminal. And what I'm going to do right now, you probably don't have to on Chrome OS Flex, but I'm going to reboot this whole system, and then we're going to come back and install some stuff. So I'll be right back. 
All right, we're back. We've rebooted the system. Once your computer comes back up, you're going to want to click on your terminal application down there and click on Penguin. And that's going to get you back into your Linux terminal. And sometimes it takes a minute to start, but while it's starting, I'm going to open my browser back up and we're going to go back to FlatHub. And on this FlatHub website, you're going to see instructions on so much Linux software that you can install on your Chrome OS Flex device very easily. And um, so on your own time, you can go ahead and look through this and see all the stuff you can install. It has a nice search function, and we're going to search for Steam, because that's what we're looking for today. We're going to click on Steam. Now, if you just click on the Install button, it's not going to work. It's going to download a file that if you're on a Linux distribution, you could just click on and have it uh, go ahead and install for you real quick. But we need to scroll down to the bottom on these and go to these instructions. And it has a nice copy button that we can click on to copy that. We're going to go back into our terminal. And remember, we type sudo first, S-U-D-O, space. Then we can right-click to paste what we copied and hit Enter. It's going to ask us if we want to install. Yes. And it's going to show us all the stuff that it's going to have to install to get Steam to work. Do we want to accept that? We say Y for yes. And it's going to go ahead and install everything. This is just going to take a few minutes. We're going to pause the video, and we're going to come back once all this installing is done. All right, we're back again. The install finished. I'd say it probably took about 10 minutes or so. Once uh, your install is done, you're going to be able to find Steam by clicking on your launcher down here. And if you go to the bottom, well, it's up there in the recent items. But if you go down to the bottom, um, there's a Linux applications folder. And you just click on Steam, and it's going to go ahead and start up. Eventually, I promise it'll start up. That's one thing to keep in mind on Chrome OS Flex. Linux applications are kind of slow to start up, especially the first time. So uh, it's not something wrong with what you did or your system. It's just kind of the nature of Linux apps on Chrome OS Flex. Here we are doing the standard update download that always happens on a new Steam install. So I guess we'll uh, go ahead and stop it again and let that go through. All right, and finally we're back. We uh, got Steam installed. I went ahead and got logged in, and here we are on the main Steam window. Looks about like what you'd expect. Uh, one final thing that I would recommend doing, go into Steam and go to Settings, and go down here to uh, Steam Play, and make sure that um, you have the Steam Play enabled. Make sure you have enable Steam Play for all other titles, and use this Proton Experimental and say OK. And then you have to restart Steam, but what that is going to let you do is run some of your Windows applications on Steam. You can do that either on Linux or here on Chrome OS Flex, which is basically just a Linux version of Steam. And so it's going to go ahead and restart. It'll take a while like Steam always does. But So that's why I wanted to make this new guide, because the uh, one I did a year or so ago had a lot of steps, a lot of command line stuff that you had to do. And now just going through flat packs, it's super easy to do. Anybody can set it up, I think. And so if you go to this Flat Hub website, there's so much stuff that uh, you can install. And so if you have Chrome OS Flex and you want to use Linux apps, I'd encourage you to just uh, do some searches, look through here, see what all there is. Everything's easy to set up. Now, I don't know if my Steam's going to automatically restart, so I'm just going to click on it again. And we'll uh, just make sure it's going to go ahead and come back up like it should. I think it will. Of course, since I'm recording, maybe it won't. Just kidding. I have faith in it. All right, here we're going. And so, yeah, this is a, uh, a complete updated guide for Steam. Super easy. I think anybody can do this. I'm just going to make sure it kept my setting for the uh, Proton. Yeah, and that's still there. So you should be able to install anything that's for Linux, and uh, a lot of your Windows stuff should work on here too. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, this is a lot easier than my old Steam guide, so uh, this is what I recommend going forward. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye now.